aggressively for position before the competition yellow. And now he's out. Oh, oh. The six of Darrell Wallace Jr. is going to go around. He catches the 48. The big one happens in front. Two of Austin Dillon is collected. Three of Ty Dillon gets through. Brennan Poole involved in the 48. You see the 19 part. Daniel Suarez. A win already this season. Austin Dillon, last year's winner in the Xfinity Series race on this 4th of July weekend. This is everybody's spirit, Daytona and Talladega, getting in a wreck. You didn't start it. You had nothing to do with it, but you get torn up. Uh, it is what is what makes Daytona so frustrating for drivers. It's so much fun to race here. It's so, so much energy, compelling to win, but it is so frustrating to get caught up in somebody else's wreck. We saw Joe Nemechek, Justin Marks. Take a look at what happens. It all starts right here with Darrell Wallace Jr., Brennan Poole, you see, trying to help the 48, trying to help the 6, but as the 6 moves left to right with contact with the bumper, it spins it out, heavy contact between the 42 and the 2. The 2 gets airborne, but safety comes back on the tires. And that is why NASCAR does not want these guys locking bumpers. It's why they don't want pushing. And again, it creates this rule that they have to enforce, which is very difficult, but this is why they have that rule. Brendan Poole gets into the back of the six, trying to help the six. Didn't get his front bumper lined up to the six like he needed to. Got the six going in the wrong direction. This works well when done properly, but when not done properly, this is the result. Eric Jones in the 20, also involved. The only driver with a win this season in the Xfinity Series, Xfinity Series regular that wasn't involved was Elliott Sadler, and that's because he was out front. That was the contact, Eric Jones fell. Hold it. That noise, that sound, that impact, that's why it's in up here. You, just, you, know, you can expect come to Daytona, you're going to be in a wreck. Completely clear, but you see right here. There's a gap between the six and the 48. As that gap starts to close, the 48 hits him once. Everything's fine, and then he hits him a second time closer to the right rear corner. And you see that starts to move the tail of the six from left to right. Darrell Wallace Jr. does the best he can to regain control, but at these speeds he loses control, gets into the 20, and then you start to see just back and forth. You see the 19 and Daniel Suarez as it leaves the screen, almost has it collected. The two. Great to see that car come back onto the yes. ground. We saw cars go airborne in Talladega. That car could have easily went up and in the air and flipped over. The roof flaps open, the cowl flaps open, set the two back on the ground. And the problem started with where Brendan Poole was trying to bump ground. You're still in the corner. You're still turning the wheel. You, your car is not loaded up in the straight. And when he first hit him, there was a big gap. So the first time he hit him, he hit him hard. And that got Darrell Wallace Jr. kind of out of shape. The next time he hit him, that finished him off. The timing of when and how you bump draft is very important. The first time you hit a guy, you got to roll up to him. You got to drag the brake just a little bit and make slight contact in the corner. On the straight, you can hit a guy pretty hard. The front bumper and the rear bumpers line up really well. But again, you have to pay attention to when you're trying to bump draft a guy. Just a number of chaos being torn up. It's just, and you think you missed it. Like you think, I'm going to get through it. Next thing you know, somebody's running to the side of you seen this so many times. What a close call. Also